this is my original pond. Uh, from the gazebo this direction, there are three pond levels. The top pond up there contains goldfish and water lilies. Uh, it's about three and a half feet deep at the deepest point, about 11 by 22. Then there's a middle section that contains an occasional runaway goldfish and some plants, uh, water iris. And then water comes down and into this section where the koi are. And you can see some of the koi here. Uh, the largest one is the big platinum coming this way. It's about 28 inches long. Uh, some of the koi are about two feet. And uh, this is about three and a half feet deep at the middle. There's one bottom drain. And there's one skimmer here I took the lid off for. Uh, for this video and then recently I added right here you can see a mid-water draw just to increase the water flow and at first the water came through that that's just a bottom drain stuck through the side and this is a rubber liner um, and then I trenched it back this direction and into the pit which is that area there and we'll go there in a second but anyway this uh, mid-water draw used to uh, feed a pump that would then pump up to two sand gravel barrels. You can sort of see them just past the park bench up there. The tops of them sticking up. They're set into the ground and then they overflow into the top pond and create this flow you see here. But the uh, RDF, rotating drum filter, uh, was getting too much algae in it and I'm thinking that in the fall all these trees around here uh, will certainly put too many leaves in uh, this whole pond system and I didn't want the big waste going into the RDF so I also added um, this three inch line right back through the back of the skimmer and with the thoughts that at some point in time and it, uh, you can see I just put a T on it so it wouldn't suck in the, the net. And you can see water's going through pretty well, but not terribly fast. It's got maybe an inch or so over the top and it's, it's uh, getting the surface skimmed quite well. Um, there's another four inch pipe that is down near the bottom of this. So this has a four inch and a three inch pipe coming out of it. Um, then I have, of course, the bottom drain down there and this four inch line that comes through the side of the pond. Now, when you get over here in the filtration pit, um, down there near the floor, you see two four inch pipes uh, with the old valves on them. You see those there. Those valves now I have to use a wrench to get them to open and shut, so I've now added uh, gate valves to them. Anyway, I used to have uh, the bottom drain is the one closest and it has this uh, right here uh, that used to go that way and down into the barrel. So when I wanted to flush the bottom drain line, I just, I just opened that valve and let the water flush out. So recently I changed that. I just shut that one off and I made the one going straight instead of originally going into a sieve and then later coming into the rotating drum filter uh, right here. Um, I just changed that one recently so that it goes down and that's my line that flushes into the uh, sump and where it's pumped out with a sump pump. And now I made it so that this one comes and by the way there goes that's the rotating drum filter, the blue echo, and there was one cycle. So anyway, this, this line now comes in and feeds a sieve, and that has a 5,500 gallon an hour pump going on it. And as you can see, looking over the top, there's quite a bit of material in there that would have, and this is all from the bottom drain of the pond. So now I have just one line pulling constantly through the, uh, from the bottom drain with the pump. And then I substituted uh, this line right here, this uh, 
this big four inch line that one's new that goes in where the bottom drain used to and that goes to the uh, mid line mid water level uh, line intake and then the one there goes to the skimmer and then this three inch line right there that goes back this way and there's a gate valve there and it goes back and right here it goes out so uh, I have the three inch line and the uh, line down there on the, on the floor both from the skimmer and this is the mid line so that's all water that's either fairly clean or it's filtered through the net that gets in in the rotating drum filter and that way what it's doing is getting the finest particles out and then the sieve here is handling the biggest amount of, of debris and it sends it out through the pump and up to the sand gravel filters for fine cleaning before it flows all the way around. Um, in here, and there's the 5,500 gallon hour pump. It comes up and, and it goes through this UV on the floor. For now, I'm going to change that at some point. But it goes through the UV and then it comes here and then these two valves uh, control how much goes to each barrel. That's all wide open right now. Um, that pump is an 8,500 gallon hour pump. I have it cut back some. But that, that goes out to a shower, a Zaki shower, out the side of the pit into a fenced in area. And then I have, as you can see, four lines here, two inch lines that gravity flow out, out of the shower unit. And right now, three of the four are wide open and one of them is cut off. And so I'm thinking that right now I have this cut back to at the most 6,000 gallons an hour. It might only be 5,000 gallons an hour that's coming through the, uh, the rotating drum filter. As you can see, it's got a pretty good flow through it. Uh, and there's the, uh, that's the float and it's not even down yet. So it's been at least a couple minutes since it last did its cycle has a little ways to go still before it'll start up again. So anyway, that's kind of a quick overview of the of the pit. The recent change was right here making a hole in the side um, and adding this uh, two inch return and then the three inch line into the back of the skimmer and this four inch line here uh, that I put a, a T on so that part of it could come this way and into the RDF or uh, here I could use this if I preferred to use the water to come to the pump that sends it all up upstream to flow down through the ponds. So that's an overview of the filtration system of this pond.